have you ever wondered about cups, pints, quarts, gallons, this customary liquid measure system that we use? What does a quart have to do with a half gallon or a cup or, or even a pint? Well, in looking at these, it's a bit hard to tell because they're not only different sizes, but they're also different shapes. So let's try and solve this problem by coming up with what I like to call liquid measure fractions. It's a three-dimensional puzzle with cups, pints, quarts, and half gallons and gallons. And this whole set is a gallon. These pieces right here each measure one cup. So if you would pour a cup of water in there, it would fit just perfectly. So what the kids can do is as they, as they play with this and pour back and forth, they can experiment and see that if they have two cups together and put two cups of water inside the pint, it's going to be the same amount of liquid. Now, they can take these pints, put two pints together, and if they pour back and forth from here, they will have also a quart. So from that, they can learn that there are two pints in every quart, and as you can see, four cups in a quart. So this visual model helped them, and as they put these two together and they start playing and experimenting, they begin to gain an understanding about what a half gallon really is. That every half gallon is also the same as two quarts. So as you fit these together, you can see how many pints are in a half gallon, how many cups are in a half gallon. And you probably have already picked up where I'm going with this, because if we take two half gallons and put them together, we're going to have a gallon. So this can be taught um, by, ex by experience as kids play and learn and manipulate these things. And they can see the big picture, that this is a gallon, and there are two half gallons in every gallon. You can even ask them to convert between one unit of measure and another and they won't be able to do it. You can say, okay, well, how many cups are in a, a half gallon? And they can see the half gallon. They can see that there are eight cups in there. How many pints are in a half gallon? They can see the, the four pints are in a half gallon. And as they gain the understanding with this model, the liquid measure fractions, the 3D puzzle, then they'll be able to more easily understand when they come across these items in their daily lives. And they'll be able to see, okay, well, this is a half gallon, and picture that, that blue piece in their mind, and know uh, how many cups are in there, where you couldn't really tell from things that you see every day. So this is a representation. It's put together by a company called Learning by Design. It's it's um, patent pending right now, and if you'd like more information, then you can go to our website, which is uh, playequals.com. That's P-L-A-Y-E-Q-U-A-L-S.com. And thank you for uh, sticking with me and learning more about liquid measure fractions.